Hi, my name's Debbie. I recently built with Star Homes and I wanted to show you what an amazing job between us we did. A lot of the legwork was done back and forth, email, look at, look at plans, and then we met. And Jerry was great. I mean, Jerry thought about stuff that we wouldn't have thought about. You know, maybe you want to make your windows a little bit taller. Maybe, I know you don't want to study, because we didn't, but think down the road. Where are you going to put your computer? I mean, it was, it was stuff like that. It was those little things, you know, you're very focused on what you do and you don't want black and white. But you have to think a little bit outside the box because sooner or later at some point you're going to sell the house and you want to be able to do that. I go up the hill and I just look and go, do we really live there? I mean, it's ridiculous. It really is. The outside came out incredible. The stone, you know, trying to coordinate all that stuff, with paint colours. That's where Chelsea was really good. Front door, saw it online, um, fell in love with it. Sent an email to the uh, company and they sent me back the price. I went, oh, <laughs> pretty much. And then I think it was uh, Kansas City Building Supply built it. So they took my picture, did a drawing and they built it from that. And it came out amazing. What Chelsea was great for was, was number one, I felt like she was inside my head. Because I'm, you know, if we were together somewhere, I'd got to say something and she'd got to say the same thing. So she. She listened to what I liked and she got a feel for what I did and didn't like pretty quickly. Now I couldn't imagine why you'd want to paint the ceiling the same colour as the walls. That was like a complete panic moment one day. But that's the, that's the stuff, the expertise that you're going to use her for. She was great. Paul fell in love with the, with the fireplace. So then you sort of build everything around it. Paul liked the big fridge, um, did some research, figured out how much it was and was like, not happening. And then this really clever guy called Bob says to me, you know, you can buy those in separate units. You might want to do some research and go take a look. So um, that's what I did. So you have to take the things that you really want. And if, if they are without, you know, in the outskirts of your budget, you've got to come up with a way to figure it out if it's something you want badly enough. Love, love, love the fridge, but because it's a big one, they don't have the water in the door. They don't have the ice in the door. And I like filtered water in my kettle. So I got an under the counter water filter that I can fill my kettle or cook from. And I like very clean lines. I didn't want any fuss. I wanted the, the light to be the feature. I didn't want the ceiling to be the feature. I went through and I tweaked all those. I had the electrician. I stood here while he altered the heights. So you just sort of stand and go, yep, nope. And you just, you tweak it. I mean, the views are just, you know, you've got, you build your house based on, on your lot. And this, this lot is phenomenal. I mean, we have incredible views from downstairs and up. My bathroom, I love my bathroom. Oh my God. Another photo somewhere, I saw the towel bar, for what I want of a better word and sort of, I came up with this. Loved the stone going up the wall that matched the floor. My husband wanted a rain shower, so we actually lowered the ceiling about 18 inches because it was, it was much taller than that. So we lowered that and he just thinks he's died and gone to heaven every morning. We stole 16 inches from this side to be able to make the study not look like a cut closet. Okay. So that's why it's sort of off-centered, but this um, is, this is superb. I mean, we don't need any furniture in our bed. Pull downs, you know, at the top, which, you know, you've got all that extra storage. And then I had to have a shoe wall. This is the ode to my shoes. And I have room to buy more. Like the stair carpet, I loved. So what I did was I, I had the carpet people do me a 10 foot by 10 foot piece and I had them bind it. It's in exactly the same. And that's, that's my center for upstairs for the couches. So I had them make it from, from this. So it sort of ties in, takes a little bit of this and takes it upstairs because I think it's really neat. What we originally wanted was um, stairs that were open, that didn't have, you know, they were just wooden slats, but code in this area doesn't permit that. So we worked backwards and said, okay, well, we still want the drama, so how are we going to achieve it? And I think we did a pretty good job. So the bar was um, started out again on house with multiple different portions. 
When we first finished it, it looked like a second kitchen area. It was just the counters. And I, but I wanted the inside to look bar-like. So that if you're actually in a restaurant bar, it looked like, you know, how they have the glasses below and they've got the fridges and stuff. Um, so then we went back. My husband's also from England. He wanted something that looked like an English bar. So I went back onto house and I found something like this. Um, so I took that idea and just did a pencil drawing and gave it to, um, it was Clint, and said, okay, can you do this? This is what I want. And they did an amazing job. Did an amazing job. But the big deal about the exercise room was, and again, this was another Jerry, the builder, was I did not want any Hollywood bathroom deals. But if you look at this room, it's another bedroom. And that where the sauna is, is a walk-in closet. So he said, put a door so that this actually, for resale, is now your fourth bedroom. My husband really wanted a sauna. And this is going back when we first started the process. So we're talking about, oh my gosh, 10 months ago. So we only put it together last week. And he just, he loves it. As far as exercise, I mean, how can you not wanna look out the window? It's, it's me, uh, it's us, you know, it's what we wanted. I felt like I've got really good teams behind me and so that takes some of the scariness away. If you've got great people that are supporting you and pointing you in the right direction, you're gonna end up where you wanna be. The house turned out better than we ever imagined. I mean, it's everything we thought it was gonna be plus more and we still can't believe we live in it. It's incredible.